such a thing as evil? There has to be some type of moral law giver that says what is good and what is evil. And it has to be beyond you and me. Otherwise, Hitler says one thing and we say another. It has to transcend us. So whatever that thing is that transcends us, that's the moral law giver. But here's the thing, if there's no God, which is the moral law giver, which you're saying does not exist, if I'm there's saying no... I don't know if it exists. Okay, I'm well, let's, saying... let's do a deduction, all right? Because you believe child molestation and rape is absolutely wrong, there must be some type of absolute moral law giver, all right? But if there is no God, no moral law giver, then there is no such thing as the moral law. There is no true good, there is no true wrong. If there's no such that's thing as good and, and no thing that's wrong, it's black and... How do you distinguish between what's black and white? Common sense. Or by sight? Common sense. By sight? By respect. So how do you decide what is right and what is wrong? Because you decide what's black and what's white, white by color, by sight. You can see it. How do you say something's right or what's wrong? Would you say by feeling? All of the above. Would you say all of the above? You have can you idea. see? You have, have you seen good? Right you have have you idea. seen good? No, don't try, don't try have you know. seen evil? What's five pounds of good? What's that look like? How do you distinguish what's good and what's bad? By what you feel? Sir, if it's by what you feel, in some countries they eat their neighbors, in other countries they love their neighbors. Which do you prefer? <laughs> oh. Apparently not. Apparently not. Common sense in Hitler? Common sense in Stalin? Hey, if there's no moral law giver, there's no such thing as good and evil. If there's no such thing as good and evil, then when you say something's good or evil, it's just something you make up in your mind. It's arbitrary. You have no point of reference. Maybe it's always moving along, all right? But what I'm telling you is common sense tells you that there is moral absolutes. Rape is absolutely wrong. Child molestation is absolutely wrong. You can't have that if there's no moral law giver, which is God, okay? You, so take that, that doesn't make any sense. Come on. Dude. You're telling me that I can't decipher what's good or bad unless I believe that God created this earth and everyone in it? Does Wait, it say that again? Me? You're saying that I cannot decipher what's good or bad because I don't believe in somebody above God that has created this world? I'm saying whatever you believe is arbitrary, it's all right? It's not it's binding to somebody it's else. Restless. You might think that rape is wrong, but that's only for you. You're, it's not for you I to find everyone, somebody else with that. I think everyone knows that rape is wrong. Right, there's a moral absolute. What I'm saying is if there's Whether no... Whether God exists or not. If there's no moral absolutes, there's no God. There are moral absolutes. So, so there is a God. It has to be something that's above you and me. Something that transcends us, okay? So I want to bring it back on track, okay? As we went through those four questions, all right? Because I can go all day like this. I can keep giving you evidence for it, all right? I'm going to tell you about the Christian God, all right? He's loving, he's merciful, and he's just, okay? Now, if you were to get justice, according to God, he says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Justice is not letting a crime go unpunished. Mercy is letting somebody off when they don't deserve to be let off. God's not willing that you should perish. He sent his son so that you wouldn't have to die. There's a contradiction there, right? Mercy is letting somebody off that doesn't deserve it. Justice is giving that person exactly what they deserve. You can only find this in the Christian God, okay? That mercy and justice. If you get justice, you go to hell. Alright? If you get mercy, well then God's not just. Unless he works Jesus into the equation, this is how he, this is how he does it. Picture yourself, you're in the court of law, right Daniel? You're guilty for drunk driving. If he's $5,000, you go to jail. The judge is your dad. You, you don't have the money, okay? You're begging your dad, Dad, don't you love me? Aren't you merciful? Your dad is both those things. But he's also justice, he's a judge. So if you don't have the money, what happens? Can he just let you off? No. So this is what happened. Your dad, he says, Daniel, if you don't have the money, son, you're going to jail. You're going to get what you deserve. And I should. But what's your dad do next, all right? This is how the illustration goes. Your dad, he smacks that mouth down, says, son, you're going to jail. But the thing he does next, he takes that robe off. He comes walking down those steps up to you, his own son, Daniel. He cares about you. He's loving. He takes $5,000 out of his own back pocket. Daniel, he offers it to you. Now, you don't necessarily have to take the money. But Daniel, if you don't take the money, what happens? I go to jail and go, I get what I deserve. You go to jail. Now, Daniel, I just want you to apply that to your situation, stand there before God, the way that I'm telling you, all right? At least I'm going to keep logic and coherency in this thing, all right? 
I'm gonna give you something besides blind faith what you have right now, okay? This is how it is, alright? You already said you did. Alright, hey, so, if you're guilty of the crime, I asked you, do you have any reason? You said, I guess it's blind faith. I asked you, it's blind faith. You didn't hear me. We'll keep it going, alright? The fee this time, Daniel, it's not $5,000. The fee this time is that lake of fire. If God could love you all day long, but if he's just and you get what you deserve, go to hell, all right? But what did God do for you? Well, just like that judge, your dad, that takes off that robe, God sends his son from his right-hand side. Down into the world, just like that judge comes walking down those steps, and just as the judge offers you the $5,000, Christ offers you, Himself on the cross. We already figured out what happens if you don't take the five thousand dollars. What logically follows if you don't take what Christ offers you on the cross? Get what you deserve. Go to hell. God offers a way out, man. So be it, man. If, if, if that's what it is, I, I don't think anybody can know. You, you cannot know sitting here as a human being. That's why all these things. That's why I'm it, saying whatever you believe, Daniel, base it off of what is most logical and coherent. No contradictions, the most logical, and you will find that, that in a the Christian worldview. That is a lot more logical than anything you've told me. Those are all lies. Scientific lies. evidence of... These hoaxes? These are all hoaxes. Hoaxes? How? Okay, uh, the Amigro Man. Uh, intelligence from Congress and Zoology. Case that his examination shown that this famous skeleton found in France over 50 years ago is that of an old man who suffered from arthritis. Uh, you e man dates back to 1970. This species has been found in the region just north of Australia. Uh, he's Lucy. Nearly all experts agree Lucy was just a three foot tall. These are all these are all false. These are all fake, and they're more logical to you. You're saying, 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 you